is Arrowhead the loudest stadium? One thousand percent. In the NFL louder than Seattle? Yeah. Yeah. I've never played in Seattle when it's like rocking, rocking though. Like playoffs. I haven't played out there during playoffs, so it's like I don't know. We played a regular like, season game. Arrowhead, it loud. Arrowhead when it's when it's rocking during playoffs, man, it gets fucking rowdy in there. It is nuts. You can't hear a thing. Yeah. I love the it. guys will be from me to you, and I won't be able to hear a word. They're screaming at yeah. the top of their lungs. You can't hear a damn thing. Yeah. The kingdom, baby. It gets so damn cold there too, dude. It is yeah. crazy. We've, we've been pretty fortunate these past couple of years, man. I don't know what the fuck's going on with global warming, but we didn't have Benefiting. a single we didn't have a single snow game or a game under like ten degrees last year. We had one game. And we I usually have like, one uh, or two. So you like believe in global warming? Just to... I'm not even sure <laughs> what <laughs> I just. I'm, before we really get into this, <laughs> yeah, no, right? I'm not even sure if global warming is the reason why yeah. it didn't snow. I'm just kind of <laughs> connecting dots here. Yeah. Sounds Spit smart. Falling. Sounds smart. Yeah. Just Sitting falling. in the locker room, connecting it like all. I, if I reiterate, so I don't know what the fuck global warming is yeah. doing, but yeah. yeah, you guys saw this tweet about global warming. I think that shit's real. You know. Uh, Mahomes, obviously, we got to talk about Mahomes a little bit. Would you? What was your impression of him when you fir- when he first got to the Chiefs? Um, Tyreek Hill talks, and he thought he was garbage. <laughs> so <laughs> Tyreek's funny as hell, man. I will say this: he was not like a polished QB, mm-hmm. but when the ball snapped, I mean, he's Patty Mahomes. He just has he's natural from the get go. From the get go, I remember watching him on scout team. I was just like, "This is what this guy is capable of doing." Like he would literally run out right to the like 60 yards on the run opposite like opposite end zone corner and it's just like what the fuck was that Mm -hmm. and everybody's just like oh scout team he just runs back to the huddle i'm like bro did you guys just see this yeah like what the fuck this guy's out here doing this shit just nonchalant like if he can somehow find a way to do this in a game which he then showed that he could do it's just like it's unbelievable but the first like impression you get from him is that he's just a relatable dude. He just loves ball. He just likes to be around the guys and shoot the shit, be in the locker room, kicking it. Um, and then competitive-wise, he's just always playing something, doing something, competing at something. And Seems like you're gonna, we're going to get to see a lot of shit talking with this new Netflix series that's coming out. You're definitely going to catch it. You're definitely yeah. going to catch it a little bit. I think... Uh, what do you think, think people will learn watching the Netflix Him and Crosby series. get after it, dude. Him and Crosby? Max? Dude. Get right. after it. They like, we'll white face Dan. butt each other, head buddy, like, punch each other at the bottom of piles. Like, they get after it. Really? Yes. You get off the and do anything when you see somebody punch your quarterback? Oh, for sure. Yeah. You'd, you'd hope so. For sure. Yeah. Especially our, our enforcer. Who's your enforcer? Trey Smith, baby. Trey Smith is the enforcer, He's a dog. huh? He's a dog. He said, balls, baby. Balls? He's a dog like that. Dude, just a fucking beast. Are you blocking Max one on one? Um, I have inside out on the backside of like a play or something like that. I yeah. think uh, I've I've got him like once or twice in pass pro just because he like he's like what the fuck's going on, you know yeah. what I mean? And like balls out. Yes, I won that one. <laughs> Do you let <laughs> you know him know? He's just, like he's still trying to piece it together. Like why is this guy standing here? You know? And then I'm just like, is a screen coming balls out? Yeah, that's what it really yeah. is. Because I hit him yeah. with a few screens before, but yeah, no, he um he's a fucking beast, man. Do you let him know? Do I let him when know? you get him? Um. Not really. I don't like to. I don't like to make my the, my tackles lives harder. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I won't yeah. talk too much yeah. shit with him. That is but nice. uh, we'll have some fun out there. What was crazy about the last Raiders game that we played at in Arrowhead is that you could tell the defensive coordinator did not want me to like enjoy my day at all. Mm-hmm. Like I was getting butched, double teamed at the line of scrimmage. Um, Farrell and Crosby were just like punching me in the fucking face coming off the ball and it was it was i had a blast doing it because it was like it added another element to the game of like mm-hmm. another challenge to like try and like they're trying still to get open out. yeah they're trying to here we go baby yeah this is where you shine baby yeah, this is this it way. prove them all wrong and then i had four touchdowns off of like <laughs> 25, 25 yards. yeah it was like one of the <laughs> that most was buns shit, that was of ever it was like i think jerome bettis is the only one to have like a more buns like stat stat line which is three touchdowns off of like two yards no shit yeah it was like five carries too it was I just remember, like, uh, I, I actually went outside the numbers one time. Farrell comes outside the numbers, right over top of me, DB behind him, safety staring at me from over here. I'm just like, well, I think the ball's probably going somewhere else. But yeah. Let's just have some fun on the line of scrimmage here. I get off the line of scrimmage, slapped in the face, <laughs> fall on the ground. I'm, like, rolling on the ground. I get up, get hit down again, and uh, look look back. There was, fine. there was a flag and everything, but the ball definitely went the other way. But it was just like that. I hadn't been in a game like that in forever, man. It was a fucking blast. Yeah. How's it, how's it feel to know that teams are legit wanting you to not play? 
Well, like, like we, I think we played uh, in a wild card game, and I think it was like 2016 or 17. Yeah. We got, got knocked out of the game. Knocked out. We got dude. knocked out. Yeah. Legitimately, the defense was like, fuck yeah, we got him out of the game. Like, they were like, didn't want you to be hurt, but they're like, thank God he's not playing. Yeah. No, they've, I took a fucking right, the uh, Mike Tyson right hook right to the side of the dome. Dude. And you, went, you were slumped. I was, too. yeah, the whole like, I think it was left side of my body. Yeah, the whole left side of my body, I couldn't even like move for a good like 10 seconds. Yeah. And I was like, I've never been hit like this in my fucking life. No like, way. Holy shit. And then I, um, I got like my bearings back in the, in the actual like locker room and everything because it went right into half. And I thought I was going to be good to come back out. And the doc told me no. And then you guys, you guys ended up getting us. Mm. 